Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to use subs with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. And in this video, I will show you how to use functions with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So first thing is, what is the difference between subs and the functions? Uh, procedurally or basically, they both execute the same kind of uh, uh, code but the basic difference between subs and function is the subs does not return any value and the function returns the values now let me demonstrate what I mean by returning the value so I have this basic form and I have taken two text boxes text box 1 and text box, text box 2 and I have this button from the last video which have the text execute sub but I'm going to change this text in this video and I'm going to the text property and I say execute function this time okay now I'm going to double click this button and in the last video we have seen how to execute a sub with the help of this button click event and this was the procedure which we have created which was the sub procedure in this video also we will create a add procedure but with the function procedure so let's create a function just go below your button click sub or you can make function above here also so in between your class starting and class end you can make the function anywhere you want okay so let me start by creating a function so I will say private and then I will use the notation function and I will uh, give the name of the function which is add function this time and I will just give the bracket and press enter and you see here it will automatically create this end function code for you now it also takes so I have told you that the basic difference between sub and the function is that it returns a value so we can uh, define what value we are expecting from the function by just going after this uh, parenthesis and write as and what value we are expecting for example we, ex we are expecting integer okay so we can define here what return value we are expecting from the sub okay and we can pass the parameter to these uh, uh, functions as we can pass the parameters as we have seen last time that we can pass the parameter in these brackets in the subs so I'll just copy it and paste those two values which is by value a which is a name of my value as integer and by val b as integer okay and we will just copy the last code which what was it was doing is it was taking a and b and adding those two integers and put it in put it put it into this sum integer okay but now the difference here occurs between function and sub that we return so we write return and we will say sum which is the integer right so we already defined here that we are going to return integer here so we are going to return sum which is an integer right and now I will delete this sub which was already there in the button click event once again we I come to the button click event and this time I'm going to call a function called add function but first of all let me create the variable called dim result as 
integer okay and why I have created this because I will store my value which is returned by this function in this variable so I will write re result is equal to and I will call this add function from here so I will write add function which appears here automatically and I will pass my values here so uh, I will pass the values from the text boxes which I have right so I have text box 1 and text box 2 you can see the name from here the name of the text boxes and I will write here text box 1 dot text comma text box 2 dot text okay so what I am doing is what I whatever I will enter in these text boxes what it will do is it will add those two values so I am passing these two values from here to the function it will add two values and place it in this sum variable and it will return this sum as a function and this return value we are catching it in this integer variable right okay now I want to show the message which contains the result so I will write message box dot show and I will say double quotes the result is and I'll give this ampersand sign and I will pass my return variable okay and so this is how this function will execute from here and pass the result in this variable and which this value variable in the message box it will give the result once again I will run the program and I will give some integer values here and here and when I run the program it will give me the addition of those two values right but this time it's by using functions so just remember that the basic difference between subs and function is the function returns the values and subs just execute the piece of code and it doesn't return any value okay so I hope you have understood the difference between the two and uh, you have understood the basic concept of functions. So please keep watching these videos and please create, comment and subscribe and bye for now.